Hello everyone, my name is Josh, I am the gay that games, uh, the gays are available. Um, today we're going to be playing um, one of my faves, State of Decay 2. This is a zombie apocalypse survival game. It's like got a bit of base building into it, it's a bit like The Walking Dead on steroids where you've got control over everything. So we're just going to start a brand new game. We don't need two Uh Mika Valley. <laughs> I'm scared, so I'm just going to go standard. We're going standard. And I don't know if we get to... Yeah, we do. So... Um, Basically with this game, every time you, you complete a game, you get to um, unlock one of these things that can help you out in future games. So I think for this one, just to be fair, we're just going to stick with amenities because I want you all to be able to see. We'll just go with that. And then I think what we'll do is just fill this out with random survivors and hope for the best. And we'll just go with it. I'm sure it's fine. Yes. Wish me luck. This is sponsored by water. By the way. And we're empty. No G fuel here. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time, I accidentally riled up a damn horde. I have a better idea. We could settle down here, instead of moving on. I admit it. It looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. Homo. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. So here we go. Um, who have we got here? How do I know who this person is? Dawn. Oh, hi Dawn. A very fetching multicolored jumper. I love that. Well played, Dawn. Well played. Alright, so... Um, I think, yeah, so we need to get to this house up here, um, so that we've got a base that we can start off with. Uh, so let's, yeah, so we can steal a bunch of stuff that's already in the trunk, which is great. And in fact, I think what we can do is just fill up the, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that, easy peasy. So we've got a car already. That's great news. So in this game, we'll be going from like, house to house, um, scavenging different things, um, and then bringing them back to base to make more nicer things. Um, and then cars are really helpful for that because you can store stuff in the boot, like that, or the trunk if you're joining us for America. So let's just hop in the car. And head on over to our new home. <laughs> I love that. I do have a driving license. I guess you're wondering. Uh, okay, so now I'll do a deal with some zombies. Classic bit of button mashing. There you go. Oh, here we go. There you go. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's go have a little look around. I'm here and ready to go. And yeah, so I think whenever you go into a new house, you've got to have a little this look around and make sure that it's all, all clear. So you've got to go into each room um, before you can make it your home. Barrington House, isn't that nice? Oh, I can hear a zombie. 
He's a big guy. Can't see anything. <laughs> it looks pretty safe. I think we should claim this place and move in. Very cool. Okay, so let's make it our new home. Right. Oh my god, it's a pirate. <laughs> it's not finished off yet. <laughs> I don't know why there's a pirate there. Well, there was a pirate there. Okay, let's make this on you home then. Claim, yes. It's a shame that we can't rename our our house. Um maybe we can, can we? The pipes are working and the breaker box is that. connected. Okay, Enjoy so the in the top left power, you can everyone. see all of the resources that we've got Our and that we don't have. Our first priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. Thanks, Dawn. So, basically, you will use some of the resources that you get every day. Um, so it's nice to have a, a good supply of all, all of the different resources. So, at the moment, we're lacking in meds, uh, ammo, and fuel. So, I think... Um, oh, so it's given us an, an objective to climb to the top of the nearest cell tower. Uh, and survey the area. Okay, well I think, yeah, there's a cell tower over there, so let's just, let's just go over there, shall we? Um, how do I sprint? Oh, there we go. I just need to run some errands. I love her jacket so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> also, if you hadn't noticed, I'm British and gay. You're welcome. So I think every time you run around, you cause a bit more noise, which is likely to attract attention, but it's fine. It's fine. I hate heading back home empty handed. So then, once we get to the top of this survey tower, we'll have a nice view and we can check out all of the local amenities. And that will help us when deciding where to go next and where to gather more resources. So, yes, thank you game. So I think if I aim down sights, or climb down the ladder, aim down sights, I can view things and unlock them on my minimap. I may have just spotted a plague heart. So in this game, the main objective is to remove all of these things called plague hearts, which are That'd nasty be a good place for an outpost. Uh Everything's red going smoothly pulsing so far. Pustulous plagues. Which spawn uh, these red zombies which can cause your characters to become infected and they're quite bad so what you want to do is destroy all of the play cards um, which takes quite a lot of effort and at that point that you basically are run. really close to winning the game take it for a test drive so there's one quite close to home here which isn't great but it means we can deal with it so I'm just gonna get all of these sites completed. So I can see already there's a pharmacy over there, so that'll be good for when we want to go get some meds. And I think that when you start the game, the zombies are like fairly easy, they don't come in these huge hordes yet, so it's much more easy to get around um, when you're first starting the game. So we have to make the most of that. I've missed a couple. Oh, I think that there we should go. do it for now. Uh, we'll try and get down without dying. I know there's a way to. Oh, there we go. Easy. What an athlete. So, yeah. So, the way the um, search function works is that in this game there'll be 
things like cupboards and boxes which are flashing white and you can search them at a very slow and leisurely pace and they will contain sometimes valuable really resources like a molotov that's great news and then once you're done um, once you've finished searching an area it will be greyed out so it means that you can keep track of where you've looted and where you haven't so I think whilst we're here we'll check this little shed next door and see if we can get any other materials um, if you see like a zombie creeping up behind me just say you know boo <laughs> something like that just let me know Okay, so we're done here. So let's. What do we need to do? Rucksack of materials. Ah, oh, yeah. So, um, for this equipment shed, you can see that brick symbol, and that represents um, a potential that you might find some materials there. So let's let's head over there and see if we can find a rucksack. And basically, the the reason that you uh, okay. the reason that you want to get a rucksack is because you can then build um, certain things in your base, like a pharmacy or not a pharmacy, an infirmary tent or an armory or a workshop, that kind of thing. And they unlock different things that you can build and ways to recover your survivors if they get ill or injured. Locked. We just made a little bit of noise. Oh yeah, so these police guys are really, really difficult to kill. Going so fast. Well, actually, we've run out of stamina there, so this is why we're fighting really quickly. But we got there in the end. So let's give Dawn a little bit of rest. Have a lie down. Yeah, catch a breath. There we go. Get our flashlight on. I'm sure I can put this to good use. I'm carrying a bit much right now. Maybe. Rucksack, rucksack, rucksack. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. So that's our roll of carpeting. All done. What Essential else you got? materials. And I guess we can come back. I should have emptied up my pockets before I came, but let's um let's come back here. In a moment. So the blue bar in the bottom left is my stamina bar. So when that runs out, you start um not being able to run or to hit things. So we need to keep that blue bar in the blue bar. I'm exhausted. I need to rest. And of course, cardio is the most important thing in, apoc in an apocalypse. According to Zombieland. And I guess Zombieland too. So we can dump off these uh, resources here. It's time to get building. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. And then there's this central locker which you can dump stuff into. So I'm just going to leave all of this stuff. So we've got a bit of space so we can go back for that other um, other bits of supplies. So we've got some ammo in here. We've got a couple of toolkits which you can use to repair cars when you break them. Uh, you break them by driving into shit, including zombies. So they're really handy. And now we need to build something. Now, how do I do that? Base. Here we go. Oh, I should have been doing this whilst I was uh, away. So um, we've got three in our community currently. We've got Dawn and who else have we got? Rody, 
and Remy. Dark and mysterious Remy. So we've got three people, which means we can uh, do a certain amount of things in the base at any one time. So I think in this back, maybe in the front, yeah, uh, we're going to build a workshop. And that allows us to build uh, bullets for the guns that we'll pick up, and then also crossbows and crossbow bolts, which are really good. So we've got um, how many people working on that? One person working on that currently, which means we've got a couple more uh, labor. So we're going to clear this backyard, okay, which means that we can use that slot. And it'll also generate some resources for us, which is great. And I missed whatever just happened there. Oh, okay. So we've got a neighboring commune that want to speak to us. So why don't we go do that? 